Hi there, I'm Potmos and nice of you to join me for another video with Foundation. Let's get time going so everyone can start working and we'll slowly pick up where we left off and start expanding this cute little second village. Start building a wall around it I think. So that's what's up for now. And in the meantime, let's get some extra people into our village, promote a few because that'll help our economy. Because, well, we need to make a bit more money, not by trade, but just from the village. But let me start by thanking all 10 new subscribers in the last 28 days. Thank you very much. I'm almost at 150 subscribers on YouTube, which probably for most people, well, don't laugh too hard. I mean, it's not much, but to me, it's very special. My wife once told me that I would never reach 100 subscribers, and I'm already past 140, so I'm very happy. So thank you everyone who joined from the start or in the last month. I like it a lot. So let's get working on our village. I think we should start to work on a walled area so we know what we want to do. Now, I probably, I don't like these two roads, so I think we should turn that into one. And maybe the gathering bush should be in this second village. So, I'll put a gate up here, and then we can just start building a wall, make another gate here perhaps. And... Yeah, I think that's a good option. Something like right here. Put it a bit up like this. Yeah. And then we can connect these two parts with a little wall. So people will have to walk around a bit more, but that's fine. I don't really mind. Yeah, let's do it something like this. Now they will walk through for a while, but after that they will start to use the gate. But all those people that are already walking that way, that will just walk through, and then later on people will change their route. And of course we need to continue this all the way around. We will do that, but just not straight away. I think we have one free villager. Yes. And we only have five soldiers. So, ooh, promotions available. That's an important thing. Because I really want to promote a few people. So let's do all of those. We still have plenty of money. Perfect. Let's promote a few more. We'll use up all our money this time. Because with all the extra promotions, we get a lot of houses. But we also get more money, because all the promoted people will probably buy extra goods. So that's good. You can see extra houses popping up. Great. So, maybe I should start using these places for gathering huts. Just for the future, we, we're going to build them anyway, and now we keep those areas free from housing. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. If you want to build gathering huts there in the future, they might just pop a house up. So you might just want to reserve that spot, just like I did. Ooh, we have houses upgrading here, which is also good. I like that. Let's hope they cut down all those trees so we can finish the wall there. And then we'll see. We'll probably need to extend this wall all the way up here. So, I think the next gate will be somewhere here. I'll put it up a bit north, so just like that. Let's start creating our wooden wall. Continue from here. And where is it? All right, it's right there. So it's not going to be perfectly shaped like the perfect city, but I don't mind. In in history, those 
I mean, this is pretty much round, but that's really rare in history. To just build a wall around what they had, and well, having a perfectly round shape is not normal. There are cities, you can look it up on the internet, there's a city with crazy looking walls. But I like it that way. This is just the way I want it. We can extend the residential zone a bit. And yeah, right here as well. So they can build houses there. Let's keep the area around the church a bit free because, well, we want to add things to the church later on. Keep an eye on the church. We can uh, house 46 people here and 110 there. So we can still house everyone in the church. So that's good. But at some point we might need to upgrade the church or expand it. That's a better way of calling it. The gathering hut is done. We still have a free villager. So let's put it in a gathering hut. Perfect. Now everyone should have a job. Don't forget to zone. That's one of the most important things in this game. Don't forget that. So there it is. It's very easy to forget your zoning. And that just makes them walk quite far to another berry bush. And then they will working there but that's not what we want we want them to work on that berry bush the shorter distance they have to cover the most efficient they work the longest they will work and the most work they will get done so that's important now, I like it that the area around the keep is getting clearer once it is completely clear I will make some sort of a fortress out of it I think not quite there yet but we will get there and as you can see, we are making quite a bit more money. So now our just our village income is covering all the costs and we trade. So yeah, we're making good amounts of money again. Which brings us to the next thing. We should probably work on expanding our industries. Now if we look at clothes, that's fine. We have plenty of clothes. We don't have a lot of wool. So we could just get one more sheep farm to make sure we get plenty of wool because we do need a lot so yeah let's do that and I think we're going to start working on our farms and well this could be a good area to host a few farms because there's plenty of room for grain and we can just put the mills and etc there just want those trees gone so maybe that's a thing to look out for get those trees out of the way but we'll see. We've done plenty of zoning and that's all working quite well, I think. So yeah, let's keep it like that. Everyone fully trained yet? No. So we can't send them out on a mission. Now I will... What I want to do with my soldiers is get two bands of five soldiers, so ten in total. But that means that... Oh, we can use this slot for now. It means we need to get some extra swords. Because I don't think I already have them. No, we don't. A new villager arrived. How many free villagers do we have right now? Two. Well, we have jobs for them, so that's fine. So what you need to do if you want to buy swords, you need to create a spot in your warehouse. And we just did. So let's say we want to buy five swords. Oh, there it is. It's already done. So... All we have to do now is wait until we get the five swords. Then we can assign five people to become a soldier. We can give them all the swords so they're extra strong. And then we can return this slot to being... Uh, to accept wool, because we want to have a stockpile of wool. Alright, so that's looking okay. Now, I have been struggling a bit with these walls. Especially if you just build a few sections and you stop and later on you want to continue. Then I don't know, I pro I'm probably doing something wrong, but it just doesn't work for me. I usually have to delete the section all the way back to the, to the last gate. So I'm not going to continue this wall yet because I can't see through the trees. And yeah, I really want to just finish it up towards the next gate section. And, well, I'm not able to see that yet, so we're not going to do that yet. Now, everyone is quite busy. I do want to keep an eye out on my bailiff. Is it working? Oh yeah, it's prospecting for resources, so that's good. Let's keep him on the job. 
and then hopefully you'll find quite a few nice resources. Ah, I found marble. Perfect. Let's send him out again. Keep doing your job. Sheep farm done. Perfect. I'm sorry. <coughs> Very sorry about that. Tried to turn off the sound, but it didn't work. And I have something tickling in my throat, so... Might come again. I'm already very sorry about that. So yeah, sheep farm is done. So yeah, two more villagers coming in. We make good amounts of money. So perhaps... This is also a nice area for farming. So I think we're going to start right here. With... Wheat farms. And we're just going to build two, I think. Yeah, I think two is fine for now. Well, let's build them like this. Yes. And, well, along with that we need windmills. And they don't generate a red zone, which is good. So let's just zoom in. Put up a windmill. I think should put up two windmills at the same time already. Because we're going to need them anyway. Because bread, you can't have enough of it. So yeah, two windmills. That's the benefit of having a good economy. You just have the money for that. We can start building all of that. Of course we need a warehouse, which will generate a red zone, but that's not too much of a problem. We can just put it here. It's nowhere near the village. So that's good. And then, of course, we need a few bakers. Now, we have two unemployed. We need a sheep herder. And, well, get to the gathering hut. That's fine. Let's put in five sheep. No, I'm not abusing the system. I just want five sheep because I like that. Great. Everything's being built. Well, clothing was in the 300s. It's now in the 400s, meaning... That it's still growing, which is good. Berries are pretty stable. Slowly growing, so that's a good thing as well. So we don't have to adjust anything there. We might need to adjust a few extraction zones. We don't really need to, but I just like to. Basically, you want to get rid of most of the zones, because it, mean, it means that all the zones in the in the near the village are gone, all the trees, which is nice. Gives you all the space you need to build. This can go anyway, because we're not using those stones. Well, they're doing a good job building. That's nice. Getting good amounts of money again, so we probably can build the bakeries already. I think I want to do two as well. Same with the windmills. So yeah, I'll put them on either side of the road, close to the village. I think that's nice. Now at some point I want to do a new series and try something new. Where all the red... the industries that create a red zone, so a zone where people don't want to live, so all of these, are put outside the city. But for instance the bakery you just put in the city near the marketplace. I think that can be really nice and give you more, even more the feeling of a realistic village where you just can just walk into the baker and, and buy something. Right now you can't, which is fine. I mean, that's just the system they chose to go with. And, and I'm not complaining about that or anything. But yeah, I think it would be nice if you just could... Uh, get the feel of a city where you can just walk straight into the baker or well I don't know who else but I don't believe there's a butcher shop or anything but yeah I, I like that, that people will still have to go to the market of course but it would just be nice so in another series I'm not sure when I'll start that but yeah in another series I will do that now we have to assign a zone where it can put his grain in so let's do it something like this, I think. 
They won't do the road, so that's fine. I don't know how big the zone needs to be, so I'll just keep it with, like it is right now. Make another zone here. I have to cut a few trees for this one, so I'll just make it like this right now. And once those trees are gone, we can sort it out a bit. Of course, we need people for that. We don't have them yet, so we'll have to wait for that. But once they come in, there they are, we can put in farmers. Now, I'll fill one up first and then the other one, because you need, like, three farmers to get a good harvest. And, of course, we still need a lot of people to occupy these, but that's fine. We did one marketplace, so let's do the other one as well. Edit it, so we can get stables in there, or sh not stables, we can get market stalls in there that will start selling. Ooh, we don't have money now. Oh, we'll have to wait a second. Oh, we're using up all the tools, so we have to buy new ones, which is expensive. But yeah, we want to be able to sell the bread, and in order to do that, you need to create a market stall. Which we will, so that's fine. Probably should put in the sign there along with it. I think that's nice. Maybe put a few barrels there. Don't know why you would put barrels, bread in barrels, but yeah, it's fine. Put a little bench there and let's start construction. Perfect. Probably add the sign here as well. Because it looks nice. And they all have it. And the whole reason of this series is to work on beautifications for the city. So let's do that. Let's put up a bench. I think that's nice too. And let's start construction. Perfect. Alright, so the warehouse is done. I want to have at least... Oh my, I made a mistake. So that happens when you try to do too many things at once. Because we don't need a warehouse. We need a granary. Of course, I don't know what I was thinking. But, yeah, we made the mistake. Let's build a granary. It's all fine, it's not a big problem. Promotions are available, that's nice. Well, let's promote those. And that's it. We don't have too much money anyway. But now that the buildings are done, or almost done, I believe, yeah, most are done. Well, we still have to get a few tools. But once that's done, Everything will look very nice. Two more people coming in. Also a good thing. They'll help us grow our economy. As you can see, they do use this road, but they're not using this one anymore, so in the end it will fade. And after a while it will be gone, which is fine. Don't really mind. So at some point you can also start using those red zones and tell them not to walk here, not to walk there. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I mean, you can just make a nice squared city with just straight streets in a square pattern and just tell them where to walk, where not to walk, but nah, that doesn't feel natural to me. Maybe in the future I'll do something like that, but that's out of the question for now. Oh, we made quite good amounts of money again with trade. Very nice. And while they are waiting for the tools, we should probably try and expand the church a bit more. They'll just need stone for that, so... Is that too big? No, I think it should be that big. So let's do that. Anything else we should do? I don't think yet. We will at some point, maybe put in a window or something, but... That means we can't expand it that way, so I'm not going to do that yet. But we might might do that at some point. For now, this is just fine. Let's just put one piece up. And then later on we can make a garden around it and, and things like that. That's just not for now. An envoy is requesting an audience. He wants fish. Well, I can give him the fish. That's no problem. Just need to keep an eye on... Well, we can use points for the laborers. So, let's assist the people. Let's do that straight away. Yeah, got 200 gold, which is nice. 
a nice amount. And I do believe, yeah, we have new villagers coming in. So yeah, let's put them in there. Probably put one in a mill. So we can stop working on that as well. Granary's being built, which is good. Ooh, the market is done, so they can start selling the bread. We already have bread in store, so they can start by selling that. So let's put it up there. Now we need villagers, of course, who will be selling that. Ooh, that's a good amount of money, 103 this week. But then we bought tools, and it's gone. All right. So slowly we are getting somewhere. I've been working on the economy for a while now, but yeah, that's important. As you can see, with all the money still coming in all the time, that's just important. You need money to keep flowing in, even if you expand quite fast. I mean, we are doing two farms, two windmills, two bakeries, and a granary, all at the same time. They all cost money to run, but that's no problem. We can deal with that. We can even buy the tools all the time. So yeah, that is important. Get a good economy, and then you can really build your village. The granary is done, which is good, which means we can set it to host some wheat, some, no, not milk, flour, and then two pieces of bread. Perhaps later on we will build an extra granary, just for the bread, so we can have bigger stores, but, storage, but, well, for now this is fine. Let's first get bread production going. Well, they're sowing. And it doesn't appear they need more room. I'll give them slightly more room. Ooh, now it's gone. What's that? What just happened? Because I expanded the zone, all the wheat just went away. Well, that's probably a small bug. I'm stuck while going somewhere. You're walking. How can you be stuck? Well, that's fine. Ooh, losing a bit of money now because of the tools. That's also fine. I don't really care. So, berries are growing, clothes are still growing, planks are all fine, fish still good. So, yeah, that's all good. Keep an eye on your stock every now and then. Is everything okay? Do we have everything? If you do, perfect. If you don't, fix it. It's important. Alright, let's get people in the granary. One is enough for now. Put one extra in the mill. So they can work. And then next up, the bakery. Now the bakery needs water. They both do. So it could be a good thing to just build a well somewhere here. So that they don't have to walk too far to get some water. So I'd say... Well, probably if we build it there, too many people will go there from the city. I don't want that. That doesn't feel natural. So I'll build it right there. And now they just have to walk there if they want a piece of water to make bread. Well, everything is green. No warnings, which is good. And... Ooh, woodcutters are doing a very decent job. And hard work, all those wood cutting, but they're doing a good job. This area becomes clearer as well. Yeah, perfect. So soon all the trees are gone and we get, can just connect those pieces. I like it. Should we start working on this yet? No, I don't think so. But, yeah, they're all fully trained, so we can accept a mission. We'll still go with an easy mission for a while now. I really wish I can promote them soon. So yeah, let's go get some experience. They're on their mission. Perfect. All right. Oh, that's just looking better. It's growing. Just need a lot more people. We're in the green numbers again, which is also good. I like it. They delivered the swords, so that's good. So next thing, make sure that you don't keep buying them. So as soon as you hand them out to people, they will buy five again, and I don't want extra swords because they're pretty expensive. So, yeah. They'll remain in storage now until I hand them out to new soldiers. But I think we have quite a few job openings. So, yeah. No soldiers. 
No people will be being made to soldiers soon. Oh, looks like a nice industrial zone. Two more people coming in. I wish I got the four people a few times now because we can use those people. Still making good amounts of money, but as you can see, the cost went up as well. So thanks to trade, we still make money. I just want it to be more. But as soon as we really start selling bread, numbers should go up a bit again. Well, they're on their mission. Fighting bravely for their country. Alright, this is all gone. Perhaps I will change this at some point, because it just doesn't look like the way I want it. Perhaps you should make it something like this, put the gate up here, in a slightly angled position, and then continue like that. I think that'll look nicer, but... Well, that's not for now. Ooh, the well is done. Perfect. Yeah, I think it does look kind of nice. All these industrial buildings producing all the goods they need in the city. Yeah, I like it. Two villages arrived. Perfect. I think we should get them into baking. I'll make sure we have all the bread we need. Yep. They're harvesting, so the first wheat will come in soon. Then we can start making bread. Hasn't found anything besides stone. Well, maybe you should look harder. I really want you to find more things than just stone. Alright, so we've worked on our wall. We are expanding the church. We've put in a few houses. We've cleared a few areas of trees. We've completely set up a new production line for bread. And, well, we did a sheep farm. So, I think we did a few nice things this episode. Never enough. And, well, given the time, I never can do all the things I want. I always want to do more, but this is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. If you have already done that, perfect. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. And, of course, I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.